Hey YouTubers, it's Sonia real fast with an unexpected garden update. Um, I came out this morning. Today is, what's today? Wednesday, July 31st. Um, you know, I just shot one video a couple days ago. We've had some rain here, so I haven't been out in a while because I don't really like to mess around with things when they are wet. Um, and we got rain again last night. But I came out this morning just to look around, and I looked at this zucchini plant. So, the one thing that I noticed, I noticed those brown leaves the other day, and I was just going to come and cut them off when I had a chance. But I saw today that I have this green leaf that is completely wilted. And there is no reason it should be wilted because we've had a ton of rain here these last couple of days. So, of course, the first thing I think of is this squash vine borer, which, if you've been watching my videos, it killed another plant. So, unfortunately, it has gotten this plant, too. And this was my largest uh, zucchini plant because the pot is so much bigger. And I know it's the squash vine borer because, see if I can get, I'm on my iPad, so let me see if I can get to the base of the plant you see how it's looked like it's starting to rot down there that's the telltale sign that there's a bug inside my plant so my last plant we tried to dissect it and we did get several of them out Ooh, and look at that right there Ooh, I don't know what that is Oh, it looks like just some things are starting to mold. Like I said, I haven't been out here <laughs> for just a couple of days. And something has been digging in the dirt, too. I don't know if you can see right there. Some little critter. But anyway, we um, dissected one of my plants. And we got several of the little squash vine borers out. But you know what? I just don't even feel like it. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this plant I am very disappointed I have this problem every year with zucchini I try to grow them every year and I can't um, this year that's one of the reasons I tried putting them in pots to see if maybe I can prevent this thing from coming I even tried to keep the the soil built up around the base of the plant that's what my grandfather told me to do because he grew zucchini easily and he said you know just put it like on a mound like on a hill and I tried that, and it just, it still hasn't worked for me. Like I said, these last couple of days, probably the little mound has gone down because we've had so much rain, and I wasn't able to get out here and um, build it up. But, I don't know, the bug may have already been in there by then. But I just wanted to show you guys that, unfortunately, I've lost another plant, and I'm very disappointed but luckily, I just went to the farmer's market over the weekend and bought like 20 uh, organic zucchini and yellow squash to make relish out of it. Because that's really why I want to grow it. I love to make sweet relish out of zucchini and squash instead of pickles. So I got that done already. Did that over the last um, Sunday and Monday. I got all my relish made. So... Yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys and share my disappointments. Got to share the good and the bad with the garden. So anyway, um, you guys take care. I hope you're having a fabulous day, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.